Welcome back to Strong Man Personal Finance. I'm Christopher Bell, certified public accountant, long-term boglehead investor, author of the book, Stop Being a Broke Loser. It's on Amazon for $3. Oh, <gasps> grifter! And hater of Meat Spin Kevin. Now today, we're going to watch this freaking human troll doll explain why he's such a genius for buying Tesla stock. And always remember, ladies and gentlemen, he bought Tesla, number one, because... It was going up. That's why he bought Tesla. That's why all these freaking YouTubers bought Tesla. All these other clowns, they see Tesla going up and they buy it. And what happens? It keeps going up and they get rewarded. It's like a feedback loop. The more the stock goes up, the more people want to buy it because they think there's something there when there's not. And everybody just keeps piling and piling and piling. And before you know it, you have a freaking bubble. We are in a massive freaking bubble. I've never experienced a true bubble in my investing career, mostly because I didn't pay attention. But right now, we are in a massive freaking bubble with Tesla. Now, why do I say we're in a bubble? Well, number one, before we watch this freaking troll doll loser, Tesla is a car company. Every piece of news that comes out, oh, they grew their sales. Oh, they did this. Oh, they did, they did that. It's a car company. It is becoming more of a car company with each passing quarter. Go look at the revenues, chumps. Car companies don't deserve a market cap of a trillion dollars, okay? The next largest car company, automaker, is Toyota. Massive company. Massive annual production. Their market cap is like $250 billion. Almost a fourth of Tesla. It's a freaking joke. This stock is going up because all of Wall Street is feeling FOMO. Yes, Wall Street is stupid for buying this stock. And this clown right here is going to convince you with his hype to buy into the stock now at these massive, insane all-time highs. When the stock's approaching, the company's approaching a trillion dollar market cap. Although being a fraction of the size of any other car company. It's ridiculous. Now let's watch this idiot. I'm gonna react and then I'm gonna go to work. Oh my goodness, folks. Endless Tesla news out today. This is absolutely huge though. There's one particular thing that- I'll show you something that's huge. That's just totally mind blowing. And this particular- Mind blowing? You, 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 don't, you don't see the hype here? is the kind of stuff that I have been waiting for with my Tesla investment. People have made fun of me for holding Tesla as too big of a por portion of my portfolio. It's around 39% of my stock portfolio, obviously not including the real estate portfolio. Are you talking about me, Kevin? I mean, I'm, I'm sure other bigger YouTubers have made fun of you, but I know you watched one of my videos and you got a little butthurt because I dumped on you. And I still think you're an idiot. You should never have one stock at a massively concentrated position in your portfolio, especially when you're in invested in a bubble like Tesla's in right now. But you know what? The stock went up. You're a genius. We'll see in the long run, buddy. We'll see. And before y'all accuse me of being a short seller, you're a short seller. No, I don't short stocks. And I actually own Tesla in my index funds. So if Tesla goes up, I win. If Tesla goes down, it doesn't bother me. And I still win because I'll be proven right on YouTube. Either way, I win. It's great. I've got tons of options on Tesla like this is this is really big news and people were also making fun of me when I was buying Tesla in the dip in May and I'm like keep buying Tesla 550 is a great price this is peak FUD remember the Tesla <laughs> why is it a great price Kevin why Tesla vehicle crash in Texas where the no, uh, driverless Tesla crashed into a tree and ended up being on fire for two hours, which turns out there was a driver in the seat. Turns out autopilot was not on. Also, turns out the vehicle was only on fire for a few minutes or only took a few minutes. Okay, that doesn't matter, okay? Nobody cares about the freaking car crash or the car getting set on fire. That's not a reason you buy or sell a stock. However, you should buy or sell a stock based on looking at its fundamentals and its future. Tesla is a car company. I'm going to say this a thousand times. The more Tesla goes up, the more I'm going to call this bubble. Because I know it's a bubble. It is just a matter of time before it gets pricked. When everybody loses their FOMO, calms down, takes a breath, and really looks at it for what it is. A car company. That's it. That's it. 
Crazy. I know. You can you can disagree with me, but you know, go look at the income statement. We'll see who's uh, we'll see who's right about that one minutes to extinguish and firefighters just stayed locally until the fire was verified that it wouldn't be coming back they basically went okay we get it cool, right anyway during that summer of endless fun i'm like bye 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 all i freaking could whether it's on this channel or in the stocks and psychology money group where we talked about it all see see he throws in his sales pitch so when tesla goes up oh buy my buy my course or whatever was it 15 what he's probably gonna raise the prices now because like he basically uses any positive news. He'll make a bunch of different investments. And then if any one of them go up, he'll say, well, see, I called this and you would have known this had you bought into my psychology of money group. But then, you know, if his other investments go down, he just kind of conveniently ignores those. That's how the whole grift works, ladies and gentlemen. All the time, by the way, that coupon code that is 41% off, Diamond Hands, does expire this Friday. But folks, people that... You know what? Yeah, maybe he was right. Maybe he's right. Maybe I should buy his course. That'll radically change my life. I'll stop maxing my tax advantage accounts. And I'll just buy Tesla! And we're telling me, Kevin, you're an idiot for buying Tesla. This thing's going to 200. Yeah. Kevin, bubbles and irrational markets can last for a long time. This is not a trillion dollar company. It's not. Not in the slightest. The optimism that is baked into that stock price is unreal it's unimaginable it basically almost factors in that tesla is going to have you know basically half of all cars in the future are going to be tesla kevin take a breath okay if you were smart you would take your profits while you can and then reallocate that into better investments instead you're getting swept up into the hype because you're seeing the numbers on your account go up but if you don't sell that stock kevin you're not going to make any money sell your tesla stock you will you will appreciate me if you ever watch this video which one day you'll <laughs> i love that expression by the way you will appreciate me if you watch this video and you'll realize that i'm freaking right one day because if you just let a stock run and run and run and run and run well above its intrinsic value you're eventually going to get clapped and your stock's going to come down to earth but you know whatever just keep buying it keep holding it trillion dollar company 100 percent. they'll probably do a stock split too and then people will just buy it more Oops, Tesla right now up 4.3% in pre-market. Why? Well, a host of news, but there's one piece that's really, really big. First, Tesla was the top selling vehicle in Europe last month. This is the first time ever an electric vehicle has outsold gas cars. Remember, what I just said wasn't Tesla was the top selling electric vehicle in Europe. No, no, no. The Tesla Model 3 was the top selling vehicle in Europe last month, but this isn't even the news. This is just like, this is like the small- So even if it was the top selling vehicle, does that mean they've captured such a large percentage of the European market that it justifies a trillion dollar market cap? You know, different automakers have their cars that are at the top of the, uh, you know, the sales charge every quarter or whatever. That doesn't mean the company should be a trillion dollar company. Not in the slightest. There's no logic here. There's just- the stock went up, I'm a genius because a bunch of clowns are buying into a bubble, and I feel good about myself. That's all he's freaking doing. Give it time, ladies and gentlemen. Don't buy this stock right now. Please. All news, okay? This is really cool. This is the first time this has ever happened with any, electrical uh, any electric vehicle outselling gas cars in Europe. This is huge. Uh, but, uh, you know, along with some other things, uh, the news that we're going to talk about is not that, no, we know, Elon Musk does not own Shiba Inu, he did reveal this, he also thinks that Dogecoin is the people's coin because so many employees at SpaceX own it, uh, but that's not the news either, and it's not that Tesla completed its new Chinese research and development facility at Giga Shanghai, all of which is true, by the way, or that Tesla- Man, those are all just massive bullish news for Tesla, I mean, trillion dollar market cap, let's go! pushing out a new full self-driving software update after some bugs with the last one. Folks, no, it's not that either. <sighs> it is also not that Morgan Stanley has upgraded Tesla's price target to 1200 on... <laughs> Morgan Stanley. Whoever is working at Morgan Stanley is a freaking loser and an idiot. Seriously? $1,200 stock? That's probably, yeah, $1.2 trillion company? Guys, come on. The analysts don't want to be embarrassed because they live in this short-term mindset where if they don't call the, the new hot stock, they're going to look stupid. So, of course, all these analysts are going to be upgrading their price targets for Tesla. But think about it. It's a car company. $1.2 trillion. Oh, my God. 
Morgan, you need to fire that analyst, Morgan Stanley. What a freaking embarrassment. On, quote, extraordinary sales during a supply chain crisis. Oh, no. Instead, it has to do with a rental car company and Tom Brady, the football megastar. Are you ready for this? Hertz, the rental car company who's barely out of bankruptcy, which, by the way, a judge spared shareholders on that one, usually through bankruptcy, like shareholders get zero, and a judge spared the shareholders. This was crazy. This was partially in part because the judge realized that there were thousands of retail investors who were betting on the stock to make a comeback. It was kind of like one of the meme stocks. But anyway, folks, Hertz just announced it has placed an order for 100,000 Teslas. This is... <gasps> 100,000 Teslas! We need to increase the market cap by another 100 billion. Come on, 100,000 Teslas, 100 billion dollar market cap. Come on, come on. <laughs> Rental car companies, of course, they, they place large orders. They need lots of cars. Like, this is not exciting news. Guys, can you not, <laughs> look at this crappy, I can't say the S word. Look at his crappy eating grin. He's so fun, he's so full of himself. I, God, one day, one day, Lord, 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 kill that stock, please, Lord. Let me Kevin fall apart. Let him lose all his money and be selling his butt down at the truck stop. Oh, Lord, just heed my prayers. God, this is ridiculous. So, her, okay, so Hertz placed an order for 100,000 Teslas. 100, that, that's basically, you know, a trillion dollar extra of market cap right there, ladies and gentlemen. Wow. This is the first step of Hertz's comeback plan to electrify its fleet, and this is the single largest purchase that has ever existed for electric vehicles. The single largest purchase ever for an electric vehicle. How can you not see the hype? Like, just breathe. Just breathe, ladies and gentlemen. Just breathe. Can I watch this whole freaking video? I mean, what, what did Tom Brady do? Anyway, I have to go to work, but look, I'm going to say this over and over again. Tesla is a massive, massive bubble right now. I don't care how much the stock goes up. I don't care. It is in a massive bubble. Every single piece of news that comes out increases the market cap because all these freaking clowns are just FOMOing in because they're sad they missed the boat. And their clients are probably mad at them because they're not in Tesla, the new hottest stock. So of course they're buying into it. When it's almost a trillion dollar market cap, it's freaking nuts. Anyway, that's it. This guy's a moron. I hope I get a lot of critical reception. I hope y'all laugh at me. You go laugh at Strong, man. Just laugh at me. <laughs> He's so stupid. Tesla's obviously a trillion dollar company. He's Tesla. We'll see you little bussy sellers. <laughs> anyway, like, subscribe. Tell your friends about me. You have a wonderful day. Choo!